Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. My husband fell in love with someone else two years ago. Now he's aggressively trying to reconcile. Advice. My husband 40 me 37 were married happily for 5 years we had open communication, best friends. We had a great sex life. He was always open and honest. Even when he sat me down and told me that he had met a woman at work, he admitted that she was extremely beautiful and they started out just eating lunch and he began having feelings for her, he tried distancing himself from her. She was persistent and pursuing him. They ended up running into each other one night when he was out with the guys, they had drinks and they ended up sleeping together. This affair lasted three months. He said he ended it, but realized that he was in love. He was hurt and confused and felt so much guilt for cheating. I noticed that he had changed. He became distant, quiet and he was not interested in sex. I tried talking and he would tell me he loved me, and would die if he lost me. He admitted that he told me this knowing that he needed to admit that he had fallen in love, but he was still very much in love with me. He didn't think it was possible to be in love with two people at once. Before he confessed everything, he became overly sexual with me. Wanting sex constantly. Insisted on not wearing a condom. We didn't want kids at the moment, so we used protection, I felt something was very off even then. He was very affectionate, he would tell me he loved me more than anything, but he had tears in his eyes and he sounded as if he wanted to cry and he would hold me for such a long time. I begged him to tell me what was in his mind. He broke down. In tears. He told me everything. He said he was in love with her. He never said he wanted to leave me. He said he didn't know what the hell was the matter with him. He said he was just sick with guilt and confused. He hated himself for betraying our marriage. I was heartbroken, I was not in a clear state of mind. The next morning I left work early. I packed my things and I left. I sent him a text. I said I can't forgive this betrayal, and I was leaving him. I moved out of state and I completely disappeared from his life. He is best friends with my brother, but my brother didn't tell him where I was. We've been estranged since. That was January of 2019. By April I realized that I was pregnant. I had a baby boy. I have been a single mom since and he never knew about the baby. I live in another state. I heard through my brother that my husband had fallen to pieces, he was desperate trying to find me and reach out. He wrote so many letters and asked my family to send them to me, wherever I was. I received them and he was begging me to come back to him. I feel terrible our son doesn't have his father, but I didn't know what to do. Well one night, two weeks ago, I was shopping and I ran into my husband. He was in town for business. What are the odds? I had our son who is now two. He saw the baby, he was sitting in his stroller. He didn't get a good look. We made eye contact. I was exiting the store, he was in the checkout. He did catch up with me, but I had the baby in his car seat and I was panicking and opening the driver's door when he literally runs over to me. I close the door, my windows are tinted so he didn't see him again. He was begging me to please give him a minute to talk. He was saying he has been going crazy, he has been looking all over for me and my family wouldn't tell him anything. He stops mid-sentence. He asked me if I had another man's baby. He said, you have a baby? His face was heartbreaking. He looked so hurt. I still love him. I always have and always will. I wanted to tell him, it's his son. But I was caught off guard. My emotions were all over the place. He went into it because he was still in love with me. He misses me. He's not been with another woman. He ended the affair and cut her out of his life. He realized he was weak and infatuated. He realized he made a huge mistake. But it's been so long. He was so ashamed of himself, he knew he destroyed me and he didn't blame me for leaving him. He begged me to meet him to talk. I did meet him alone a day later, I didn't bring the baby. 
He and I met at a Barnes and Noble bookstore. He did most of the talking. He thinks I am with another man and have a child with him. He's found out where I live now and where I work. I didn't say much. I don't know him anymore. I gave him my number. I said we can talk and figure out how to end the marriage. He has been texting me. Telling me he wants me back. He started sending flowers to my home and two nights ago, he showed up at my house. He saw all the photos of the baby and he was just looking at them, but he didn't ask me if the baby was his. I can't get it out of my head, does he know the baby is his baby, or does he think it's someone else's? This is a very awkward situation. I'm still in love with my husband. He's still in love with me. But my reasoning is so clouded. I'm all alone, my family feels I need to look out for myself, he hurt me. But he has realized I am living alone. He is love bombing me. Roses, gifts. He's being respectful, and he is not pressuring me in a disrespectful way, but he is making it clear, he wants me back. That he's still in love. I have so much on my plate with bills, work and the baby. I just feel surreal and numb. I don't know what to do. Just file for divorce and ask him to leave me alone? I don't know how to tell him the baby is his. I was shocked to be pregnant and it was unplanned, we were always careful. I know he wants a baby soon, but we are waiting for the right time. This has me so emotional. I can't eat, I feel sick. Any advice on how to proceed? I don't know where to start. Two years ago, my husband fell in love with another woman during a three-month affair. Update. Coping. In my first post I explained that, my husband had an affair. Fell in love with this other woman. I left him and months later I found out I was pregnant. I didn't tell him, he didn't want kids. Even though I wanted a big family. He didn't want me. I moved out of state, and I have been single. Since. He has found out where I live. I suspect that it was my brother. My brother has been very concerned about me. About the baby needing his father, about me needing a break. He feels I need to be taken care of, that I am too thin. I'm okay. But he's my big brother, I still have not asked if he gave up our location. My husband and I have met a few times now. I didn't tell him that the baby was his. But I have told him. I have prepared paperwork for divorce. His reaction was strange. He doesn't want a divorce, he loves our little boy. He has returned to town, and he is spending time with him. He says he doesn't blame me for not telling him. He would have been awful, he was in such a horrible place. He was so infatuated with the other woman. But he realized that he created a character in his mind, some version of her that he decided she was. But it was false. She ended up being quite nasty. He admitted that the affair was longer than he told me. Also that he had gotten her pregnant. While we were still together. He was trying to leave me, for her and their baby, but he couldn't, even though he had tried. He still claims he was still in love with me too, neutral face, he told me, it was such a relief that I left him. He said he knows his reaction would have been terrible if I came to him and told him I was pregnant. He said he totally lost his shit, when she told him she was pregnant. After I left him. He said he grew to resent her. Her true self began to show. He didn't elaborate on how. But at this point, I told him that I am willing to co-parent and do what is best for our son. We have had good conversations, and we had met to take our son to pumpkin patch yesterday, and I am comfortable with being friends, at this point. I don't know if he ever really loved me. And I think this thought is helping me get over all the betrayal and lies. He never loved me so the betrayal isn't as extreme as I think it was. He is on another level. He wants more. He wants to reconcile. He said he went home and went on a drinking binge after he thought I had a baby with someone else. What? Why? He had this beautiful young woman and he is upset over me? Maybe finding out about our son Shaw. But, I don't know about because he thought I possibly had a child with someone else. I thought I brought him relief, leaving him. I thought it was a great burden lifted. I just want to handle this well. Co-parenting, I don't want anything from him. 
He has offered to give me a lot of money. But I don't want anything. I just want him to be there for our son. The more I try to be kind and respectful and not want for anything. He is pushing more and more on me. I'm fine financially. I am comfortable. I enjoy being single. I'm not a charity case. He wants to make me dinner this evening. He has already picked out the food and wine. I have no excuses not to, because I am not working tomorrow. I have read all the comments and the advice. I'm trying to be a good person. I am trying to develop a good relationship with my husband. For our son. So we can be friends and we can do things with our son together and not be toxic like he is with the woman he fell in love with. His relationship with her went south after she told him she was pregnant. She became possessive and demanding, after she found out I left. She demanded to move into the house he built for me. It was all bad. It continues to be. I don't want that for my baby boy. I pray that I am doing the right thing. Update number 3 My husband fell in love with another woman. Advice. I'm not wrong, no? He should not expect me to just come back. He admitted to lying about the length of the affair. He also got her pregnant. Weeks after the affair started. Apparently. So he doesn't have any right to be upset if I don't want more than a friendship. I do feel guilty for not telling him about his son. So much, it makes me sick. I feel ashamed. I never want to hurt my child. But I knew that he would be angry. He would wear a condom during sex. I always took care to not become pregnant, and I don't know how I ended up pregnant. But now finding out about the other child. If I came to him saying, I'm pregnant, it would have been terrible, maybe I did make a good choice to not tell? To walk away and take care of myself? I'm not trying to justify my actions. But maybe it happens for a reason. Because now, years later. He is able to be a good father. I am in a place to try and co-parenting in a healthy manner. Update, my husband fell in love with someone else and he wants me back two years later. Coping. My husband and I have been working on co-parenting, and it's been going so well. I moved away out of state. Far from my husband, friends and family. My husband has been trying to reconcile. I have made it clear that I am in a good place. He got this woman he fell in love with pregnant. They have a daughter, so we would never be the same. He has been so respectful and he stopped the hard call of bombing. He has been respectful of my needs. I spoke to this other woman and she admitted that he was still in love with me, he was torn when I left. He had no idea where I was and had no idea that I was pregnant. She says he is a good father to their daughter, but he's not good to her. He seems to resent her for the affair and he says being with her crushed him. He would support their daughter, but she wasn't me, and he didn't want her. He made a terrible mistake. She says she is still so in love with him. I'm in the process of filing for divorce. I will just have him served I hope I going about it the right way. I think maybe I should just tell him my plans. We agreed to be transparent, we've agreed to be good to each other for our son. Well last night everything went sort of south. I have met a man. He's just a friend. Nothing romantic. I don't date. But he and I met for drinks. My husband saw us. He became extremely jealous. He flies down every other weekend. This is why he's in town. I allow him to visit our son in my home. He pays me no mind. But he rang the doorbell and at first everything was normal. He asked if I would ever consider moving back home, to be near family and he will be able to see his son consistently. Travel is expensive, he has a wonderful career and he has his day so he's rooted. I told him I would think about it. I would be able to relocate with my company easily. I want him to be in our son's life. I told him I would take it into consideration. He asks what's to think about. Is it my boyfriend? I said boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend? He says. The guy who drives the black SUV. He spent the night with you last night? His SUV was parked out front, I was taken aback. This was out of nowhere. My neighbor has the same SUV. 
He parks on the street in front when his kid comes home on weekends. He's done this since before I moved in. My husband started saying crazy things. He said he is so in love with me. It makes him feel crazy imagining another man making love to me, but he's heartbroken that I have this man in my life he can tell by the way he was touching me he's in love with me. He says he doesn't know how to stop feeling jealous. He started asking me totally inappropriate questions. Like if he's good in bed and if he uses protection. That he looks like a player? He was so inappropriate. I told him none is true. He's a platonic friend. Who by the way is interested in another woman. We are just friends. We meet up and have drinks in the in a while. Usually a group of us. And I don't date or party or sleep around. He did apologize. He says he is still in love with me. He's trying hard to respect my wishes of not taking him back and giving me privacy and space. He says he misses me. I'm breaking his heart. I don't know how to respond to this. I don't want to cause any conflict. We were doing well. Our son is so happy and I thought we were doing well and progressing. He took our son out to eat. When he returned for the evening he asked to take him to the hotel so they could get up early and swim in the pool and play all day. I thought this would be great. It is going to storm all weekend and I felt he got over being upset. I packed some clothes for our son, he comes into the bedroom and I'm folding shit and put his arms around me, he starts kissing my neck and asks me if I would come to and stay. He said he thinks we should sleep together. I was without words. What the hell? This is not like him. He says I am pretty and I turn him on. He asked if he could kiss me. He said he is sorry but he thought we agreed to be transparent. I honestly don't know what his problem is. This is not him. He's never been inappropriate towards me. Not like this. I guess this is inappropriate. Maybe he's just being forward. It just made me feel uncomfortable, and sad. Sad that he thinks I sleep around with men. It makes me feel uncomfortable now because I keep thinking, will he try it again? What made him cross this line? I appreciate that he thinks I'm pretty. But say I turn him on? That's blunt. And he looks at me and it makes me uncomfortable. Am I just being overly dramatic? Maybe it caught me off guard. Him saying these things. Is it something I should worry about? Being in my home? I don't know, I just don't want to mess up our arrangement. Maybe I am being silly. Blowing things out of proportion. Which do I tend to do sometimes? You need to stop trying so hard to keep the peace and be firm and stern and set some boundaries. Your husband had no problem sleeping with someone else, living with someone else, making a child with someone else. He's being a total crazy person to freak out on you going out with a man. You need to tell him to get out and butt out of your life. You are co-parents but he has absolutely no say anymore over your life. Yes. You're right. He didn't have a problem cheating and destroying my life. I just wanted to put it out there to see if I'm overreacting. I thought maybe I needed to just ignore it. No, no ignore it, set and be clear what your boundaries are. Impose him to respect them. You are no more as, now you are him and you with a son. You are absolutely not overreacting. His behavior is crazy. And he is manipulative and rude to even try and kiss you or have a relationship with you after all he's done. Trust your gut and draw some boundaries with him. Not blowing things out of proportion. Also you don't owe him any explanation of your personal life. He is being very controlling and manipulative. There's another thread in this sub where the husband cheated with the neighbor and some of his behaviors sound similar to your husband. You should be taking this seriously. I feel that I don't owe him any explanation. I think he is out of line. He cheated on me while married. That's good. Just be careful. I've seen too many stories of ex-spouses doing crazy harmful things when they realize there is no hope of reconciliation. Edited to add, good that you think he's out of line, not that he cheated. English is my first language, I'm just not very good at it. Smile. You aren't breaking his heart he did that all on his own when he cheated. 
I think he has fooled himself that you will come back to him and now he sees that might not happen and is panicking. You do not owe him an explanation about anything, especially your love life. If he asks again, tell him that it is private and you aren't going to say anything. Be transparent about all things involving your son, and that is it. Also, how does he know what your date's vehicle looks like if he saw you in a restaurant? Did he follow you? If so, set stronger boundaries. This could get out of hand. I think he has been watching me. This is absolutely unacceptable. Get a security camera. This is becoming stalking and can escalate quickly. And please email your concerns to your family including your brother. You need to document his actions and your concerns. If he does escalate it will be evidence for a restraining order. See your therapist for a tune-up. Ex-cheater, has another child and partner, saw you out with another guy and suddenly he misses you and wants to start cheating on his partner with you. They say in articles affair usually end within three years. But this is no longer about him. It is now all about you. Why have you not dated? He is not with the other woman. He treats her badly and treats the little girl fine. She told me he said he made a mistake leaving me, and he blames her for taking part. I haven't dated because I have been so focused on raising a baby and work. I also have trust issues. Same things we told you from first post that you continue to ignore. This man is not your friend. He doesn't think like you. Have you hired an attorney? Why do you keep welcoming this man into your home? Have you tried to mentally and emotionally move on from this narcissist abuser? Please read what these people tell you and protect yourself and your son. I have a lawyer and in the process of him being served with divorce papers. He has rights to see his son. In my home. I've obviously moved on from him. I'm divorcing him. But co-parenting is more than meeting in a dark alley and exchanging your kid like you're buying a bag of weed. You have to have a relationship. He's in my life forever. From little league to his wedding to the day he has his first child. So we need to learn to put the BS aside and learn to get along, be friends. My son isn't going to be a referee, he's going to have two parents that respect each other. Parents that can come to holiday gatherings together, not two separate. I'm working hard to make this right for my son. Co-parenting app is necessary. Document his inappropriateness. Cameras are even better. Good luck cop. Yes. I just downloaded it. First you have to set your own clear boundaries. The more you have this guy in your home, the more it will continue to blur lines and leave an opening for unsafe situations. Yes. I understand. But I was not comfortable with him taking my baby on his own. So we agreed to visit at my house. As the weeks have gone by, I have seen he is a good dad and wouldn't do anything foolish to affect our child. I was allowed to stay at the hotel stay. My worry is that we have established he is the father. If he takes him, he has the right to keep him until a court hearing. So that's why I allowed home visits. From an internet stranger, the home visits are the most worrying. You're doing your best for your son, but you're also leaving yourself vulnerable to your ex's unwanted advances. He might even escalate if you let your guard down. I hope for your sake that that doesn't happen. I'm not going to sugarcoat this, I am genuinely concerned for you reading this. He is jealous, manipulative and wildly unstable. I'm a stranger and this has me worried for your safety. You know one thing for certain about him op, he has zero problem lying straight in your face. Divorce him. He's only like this because he can't have you. The moment you believe his intentions he'll take you for granted. That's human nature, it's not a bad thing, some people are able to deal with it healthy others don't. You've never seen him that way because he's jealous. That was a stroke of luck. It's easy for the wayward to do the right thing for a purpose, getting you back, instead of doing it BCS that's what a parent is supposed to do. You saw what it was like when the purpose is no longer possible. You sound extremely healthy, you saw through his love bombing. He doesn't sound like a bad person, just someone who constantly tests boundaries. Stay strong. 
Do not sleep with this man baby. He's being an ass and throwing tantrums because he ducked around and found out the consequences. Just because he can legally see your son does not mean he can touch you anywhere on your body. Enter the private areas of your home, such as your bedroom. Talk to you in a sexual manner. Follow you around town or watch your home. Get these boundaries in writing. Get video cameras in the public spaces of your home, if legal in your state slash country. Lock all other home areas when he is visiting the kid. Tell him you will press assault charges if he touches you again. And share all of this with your lawyer. Jesus Christ. You need to lay down the boundaries, he's getting really obsessive and controlling. Those questions he's asking isn't even his business, he's still acting as if you guys are still together, and he never even took responsibility in the first place. He's blaming her? He took part in it too. Sigh I'm worried for you because you seem a bit naive. But you have to realize this guy is trying to get back with you. He doesn't need to know what you did with the guy with the drinks, he doesn't need to know anything about your life. You seem like a great person obviously but you can't let him push you over. Or else this guy will try every trick in the book to get you back, and do you really want to get back with someone who caused the problem in the first place? He's the one who did this anyways wish you the best, I hope the divorce goes smoothly. I hope you lay your boundaries, and hey, the universe never forgets. The universe will give you someone who's loyal and someone who you can bully a life with, it may or may not be the guy you went out with drinks, but the universe will bless you. Follow your intuition and keep living life. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are, 